I went ahead and drilled out the uh, epoxy out of these holes on the base part, part A, and tried to fill them with the uh, aluminum brazing rod, and ended up uh, screwing the whole thing up and uh, warping it. So rather than try to level it back out, I think I'm just going to make a new part, start from scratch. I think I got it too hot and just warped it. So anyway, we'll set this part aside and we'll uh, make a new one. Cut this piece off here. It's three and a half by three and a half and mill around the edges to the right size. I think that was three and seven sixteenths square. Uh, face the top side and uh, dish out the bottom like we did this one and then put the hole and recess in it. Well, here's the new base plate all complete. So let's put it back together and see how it's going to be. Oh yeah, this going to be just fine. We're back in business now. Next thing I need to do is decide how to do the suction holes. Originally, I was thinking about coming really part way into this from the bottom and coming out the side of this pin, but I think I've changed my mind on that. This plate here, which is the park plate, so with this recess here, it really doesn't matter where the suction comes out, it'll go into this recess. So I think I'll just drill these holes straight through. And then in here, I've got to be careful where I place my holes into the grid to make sure it falls within this area here. So let me get that laid out. This is the part that goes on this uh, fixture plate here. And this is the way the gasket will be to, so we won't lose suction when we drill through for those holes with the router bit here and here. So I've got to come up through here with the suction and uh, this is not centered, it's off to one side. So the center is right here. I found this washer that's about the same size as this uh, recess. So centering that over here, it looks like I'll have to bring the suction holes up through here and here, which I think will be okay on both sides. So we'll mark those and drill those next.
All right, now we're going to drill the suction holes through the pin. Okay, we've got the stackable vacuum plate together, so we're ready to test it out and try to make a part. I've got a piece of MDF here to blank to make the part out of. Looks like it turned out pretty good. Let me clean them up on the sander and uh, take a closer look at them. Well, here are the finished pieces. It turned out pretty good. So I think this project's been successful, even though we had some setbacks and some screw-ups. Uh, everything turned out pretty good. It took a while. Uh, but I think these will come in handy, make some more plates for different parts. I think that's going to be all right. Thank you all for watching.